we are going to draw the structure of H2CO3 which is also known as carbonic acid. Now carbon has four valence electrons, two plus two, whereas oxygen has six valence electrons, two plus four. But hydrogen uh, has a single electron in its valence shell. Okay, now let's get to the structure part. The central atom carbon has four valence electrons. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oxygen has six valence electrons. But before that, you guys can see that in H2CO3, there are two hydrogen atoms, which means there will be two OH bonds. Okay. Two OH bonds in H2CO3. So the first OH bond and the second OH bond. So now we are just left with a single atom of oxygen which will make a double bond with the central atom oxygen donating its two electrons. Now let's check for the valencies. Oxygen has six valence electrons and has donated two electrons for its for the bond making process. So now it has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has completed its octet. Let's check for carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has also completed its octet. Similarly, oxygen here has donated a, another atom with hydrogen also. Like this, okay. So now hydrogen has got left two lone pairs. Let's check its valency. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has also completed its octet. Similarly, this oxygen has also completed its octet. Whereas these two hydrogens have completed their duplet since they, uh, they just have one S subshell which can carry a maximum of two electrons. So one and two. Similarly, this hydrogen has also completed its octet. Also, if you guys want to calculate the hybridization of carbonic acid, let's do it. Number of valence electrons in hydrogen is one. But since we have two atoms of hydrogen, we are going to multiply one by two plus carbon has four valence electrons plus four, whereas oxygen has six valence electrons plus six. But since we have three atoms, so we are going to multiply it by three. It is now two plus four plus 18, which gives us 24. Now we are going to divide this 24 by eight, which gives us three. So this three corresponds to sp2 hybridization and we can derive from this uh, value that the, mo uh, the molecule will have 120 degrees angle between each bond and will be a trigonal planar molecule, trigonal planar molecule, okay. That's it. This was the structure of H2CO3. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.